Welcome to Zero Budget Tech. My name is Robert. In this video, I will show you how to make a bootable USB flash drive with Ventoy on Windows. If you are going to be following along and creating your own Ventoy disk, you will need the following. A USB flash drive with a capacity of at least 8 gigabytes, A Windows or other bootable ISO image file. A Windows computer with local admin privileged user. As a quick aside, if you want to procure a USB flash drive that doesn't suck at a reasonable price, check out microcenter.com and see if there is a store near you. I will leave links in the description below to some flash drives you can order online. If you do not yet have a Windows or Linux ISO file, watch our other video on how to download a Windows 10 or 11 ISO image, or navigate over to ubuntu.com and download a copy of Ubuntu Desktop ISO now. Without further ado, let's get started. Fire up your favorite web browser and navigate over to their official website at ventoy.net. When you get there, click on the downloads link at the top in the navigation bar. When you get there, you're looking near the top in a section of files. And it's probably the first one, so ventoy-version-windows.zip. Go ahead and click on that link. And from there, you'll look for the similarly named file. Click on it, and it will start a countdown before the download begins. It should download fairly quickly. Uh, it's under like 16 megs, at least currently. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and open up your file explorer and navigate to where you save your downloads. In my case, it's the downloads folder. In that downloads folder, look for that same file name, ventoy-version-windows.zip. Right click on it, select extract all. That'll bring up a window. Choose extract. In seconds later, You'll have a new folder in your downloads folder. Go ahead and double click on that. You may have to double click on another Ventoy folder where you'll then find uh, a set of files. One of them will be named ventoy to diskexe We're not gonna run that one just yet. We wanna go ahead and insert our USB flash drive. Make sure that there is nothing of importance on that flash drive because once we install Ventoy, all data on that drive will be deleted. Now that you've installed that flash drive into your computer, into your USB drive, preferably a USB 3 or better port if you have a high speed USB device, go ahead and double click on the Ventoy to disk application and when prompted choose yes. And now the Ventoy to disk application will be running. Under device, you'll want to go ahead and click on the on the drop down and select your USB flash drive. Click the install button. If you are sure, go ahead and press yes. Again, you can choose yes as long as this is the right device. 12 seconds later. And you'll get a congratulations message. At this point, you can go ahead and close Ventoy to disk. And then you'll want to navigate over to wherever you're keeping your ISO files. Select the ISO files that you wish to put on your Ventoy drive and copy them. Right click and select copy. Then go over to your Ventoy drive, right click and choose paste. A few minutes later, Now that your ISO files are on the Ventoy drive, you can either eject the drive and put it into another computer and boot it up into Ventoy, or you can reboot the computer you're currently using. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and reboot this computer I'm uh, demonstrating with so you can see the Ventoy boot up. 
Now as your computer is starting up with that USB drive installed in the USB port, you will need to repeatedly press a boot menu hotkey until you are greeted with a uh, one-time boot menu. Once you get to that menu, you'll see a list of devices. In this case, we're looking for our USB drive. Once you find it, use the arrow keys, usually, to go up or down to select it and then press enter. You'll then quickly be gr uh, greeted with a Ventoy menu. This menu uh, may, in, in my case, only have one entry uh, for Windows 10 but you can copy several ISO files on here. And you can even uh, organize them within folders and rename the files. So Ventoy will recursively dig through your, your folders and list ISO files and even some other types of image files. And so you can navigate through it hierarchically using the arrow keys and the enter key. Once you select the ISO file that you'd like to boot, just press enter. Normally, try normal mode. That's why it's at the top. So if you've selected to boot a Windows system like I have, then shortly you will see a Windows setup. Congratulations. You have a Ventoy bootable flash drive and it is working. Now that you have your bootable Ventoy USB flash drive, come back to ZeroBudgetTech.com to get other great tips on alternative tech. Thank you for following along. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to get notified when we upload new videos. Feel free to leave us a comment below and tell us about your favorite way to install Windows or what ISO images you keep on your Ventoy drive.